Yes, greetings, my sister. How are you? Photos, but not all. There is. Amen. 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 Okay. Here, um, uh, here is W. E. W. Du Bois Center for Pan Africanism. Uh, this African American ancestor moved to the motherland after he was taken and brought back. He came by himself. And then he came for an assignment. And here at the center, to help us find out why or what the boy came to do, we have our young lady, Angela. She is going to be our tour guide. She is going to explain to you how this place came to be and what happened here. Without much ado, Angela. I'll leave you in the hands of Angela. Angela, these are our brothers and sisters from America, living in America, so from Africa, Africa for the Africans. We are here to learn more about Ghana and to be here to learn about WE Billboard. Thank you. Abu. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the Dubois Center for Pan African Culture. Please come in our company. It's cooler in here. Please, I hope you can all hear me. This was Dr. Du Bois's home. This house was given to him by our first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Okay. When he invited Dr. Du Bois over here to work on a book called the Encyclopedia Africana. The Encyclopedia Africana was going to be a dictionary for African biography. So that was the reason for Dr. Du Bois coming over here. Dr. Du Bois was born at Great Barrington in Massachusetts on the 23rd of February, 1868. He attended Great Barrington High School, Fisk University in Nashville, Harvard University, of which he was the first African-American of his time to get a PhD from Harvard. He got married in 1896 to Mrs. Nina Goma Du Bois, who was his student from the Wilberforce University. They were married for 54 years. Oh, wow. Yes, and they had two kids together. But their first child died a year after he was born. And then their second child also lived till she was 60 years old. His wife passed on in 1950. She was very stressed about the fact that she lost her son at a very young age. Mm -hmm. Dr. Du Bois got married again the following year in 1951 to Mrs. Shirley Graham Du Bois, who was his secretary in the NAACP, which is the National Association for the Advancement of Color. Dr. Du Bois was a civil rights activist, pan Africanist, writer, historian, and poet as well. He was one of the founders of a group called the Niagara Movement. It consisted of African-American civil rights activists who wanted equal rights for all blacks in America. So that was what made him popular. Over here was their living room, which is supposed to be our Pan-African gallery. But since we are celebrating the year of return, we've mounted pictures of black people in the diaspora just to share with our visitors. Mm -hmm. Over there at the front was their porch, which is now our reception and office. Mm -hmm. The museum takes 20% of whatever is sold over there to support itself. In the room behind was a guest room. It's a public reference library now. There are 4,000 books in that particular library. You get people coming in to use the books there for research sometimes. Mm -hmm. Lastly, over there also was their dining room, which is now a seminar hall. Mm -hmm. We've mounted pictures of Pan-African leaders and activists on the walls in that particular room. So you can look here and in the other two rooms to, sorry, and take as many photos as you want, except for the reception area. Mm -hmm. When you are done looking around, I'll take you tomorrow at the same time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bomani, I like your, I like, I like your little pouch. You always gotta find something to buy, right? <laughs> you gonna put it on? You gonna put all your money in there? 
Hey, son. I know, right? I saw that. I was like, 